Kimi epide bana? Abdülle. The APC Cabals. I hope you have watched your children exposing and disgracing you on these holidays by roaming around the street with assorted cars, expensive cars, cars that are worth millions of naira. This is how you people are looting our economy, milking our economy, looting us dry. And this is why you people have succeeded in dividing this country. Because people are calling for, they want to go, they want to leave. They are calling for their referendum. 
the Biafrans want to go their way. Even some of the Oduduwas. They want to have the Oduduwa Republic. They are not happy. People are not smiling. Hunger everywhere. Suffering everywhere. Hardship everywhere. Lack of money to eat everywhere. Especially on this lockdown. And your kids are roaming the streets with assorted cars. Is this not corruption? Is there any corruption that is more than this? Where did they got those cars from? Where is those cars coming from? Is there any corruption more than this? Is that why you people don't want the division you have called for by suffering people? By the poor masses dying for hunger? By looting at whatever this country have? Is that why you don't want the division you've called for? Go to some of these states. The government road is unmotorable. It's unmotorable. And your children are roaming around on a good street. If it was a son of nobody from the southeast, south, south, southwest, the next thing you will send the EFCC to go and prove them. To go and start disturbing their life. It, if, if it was a son of nobody who works hard, who went and was so hard to make his hard earned money, not even a government money, the next thing you people will send EFCC to be disturbing their life up and down. APC cabals. I hope you have seen it. You watch your own children is posing you. Especially on this period of time. And you don't want the vision. Let me tell you people something. You people have succeeded in dividing this country. You have divided this country. Because people are not happy. And everybody would like to go his ways. And that is what everyone is agitating for. Because nobody is happy calling himself one Nigeria. Because this one Nigeria you're calling yourself, you're calling yourself one Nigeria, you hold the Nigeria in your hand, you hold it in your room, you hold it in your house. Turning it the way you want. And people are not happy. Nobody wants this kind of one Nigeria anymore. 